Hi guys, it's Natasha. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I've had a little bit going on. Um, let's see. I wrote everything down because I have incredibly bad, incredibly bad memory. Let's see. My last video, um, it was a Friday, I believe, and we were going to see my um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law and their kids. <laughs> it was cute when I went in. Um, my niece looked at me. She's six. And she's like, I hear you had surgery. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, where'd you have it? I don't see anything. And I'm like, well, I had it in my belly. And then she got distracted by my husband. And um, my sister-in-law was like, I didn't really know what to tell her because I didn't want them like jumping on you. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Um, and then I was just sitting there and she come over to me. And she's like, can I see your, your belly? <laughs> I'm like, um, no, you can't see my belly. But ex she's like, well, what do they look like? Do you have bandages on them? So I explained to her and I showed them over my clothes, where, showed her where they were and stuff. And she was content with that, but it was cute. So the visit went well. Um, my sister-in-law was surprised. She's like, wow, you already look like you lost some weight. And, um, we stayed there like maybe an hour and I was like, just exhausted I find I'm getting a little bit better now but I find um, if we have like a big day like go to a movie or something the next day I'm like out of it like I don't want to do anything I'm tired um, let's see last week I was able to start some different foods which was really nice um, I was really really afraid to try eggs because I know a lot of people have problems with eggs so um, the Friday last Friday I had half of um, a scrambled egg and I'm allowed um, half a, a quarter to half a piece of toast, so I had that. I didn't have any problems, which I was thankful for. And then the next day we actually went out, um, we went and seen my brother and his wife, and we went out for lunch, and I had, I asked for one scrambled egg, and I asked how they made them, because I didn't want to have milk or anything in it, and I asked for a piece of toast, and they gave me like this huge plate with like this massive egg on it, and like hash browns, and like, a massive piece of toast and I'm like yeah I'm gonna eat like maybe a quarter of that egg and maybe a quarter a piece of that toast but it's okay because my brother and husband finished it but we got exciting news that week um, my brother and his wife are expecting so I'm very excited for that uh, they actually got pregnant in February but she had a miscarriage so we're hoping everything goes good this time I brought my husband's like don't get too excited because you never know she has PCOS as well um, but I had no problems getting pregnant. It's just uh, keeping the pregnancy. Um, actually, that was her second miscarriage. So this is her third pregnancy. Let's see, moving on. Um, I, my doctor's office really recommends um, medical alert bracelet. I really don't want to wear a medical alert bracelet. Just the basic one, the chain one, because I don't want to be explaining to everybody that I had gastric bypass. So I went online and I found like these ones I love. Um, Lauren's Hope, I think, was the name of the website. But they were like 60 bucks. I'm like, I don't really want to spend 60 bucks because in a couple months, I'm not going to be able to wear it because my wrist is going to be shrinking. So I've bought a bunch of beads. I've made two. I'll post a video maybe one day and show them. And yesterday, I actually had a, an appointment at my surgeon's office. So I conned my husband into taking me to Michael's. And I bought a bunch more beads. So, and then I do have my tag, so um, I can change the bracelet and stuff. So, my mom's diabetic, so I'm going to make her one for her birthday. My sister-in-law and mom, uh, mom had surgery in October, so I thought it'd be nice to make some people some bracelets. Um, let's see. So, I had my appointment with my surgeon yesterday. I didn't get to see my surgeon. Um, they have, like, care providers at the office, so usually you see one of them unless you request to see your surgeon. I could care less about seeing my surgeon, like, the girls in the office know what they're doing. They've been doing it for a while. And the girl that I saw, her name was Sarah, she was, um, part of my surgery anyway. So, my weight, I have not gotten on the scale since surgery. Um, so it was the first time, and my weight was, sorry, it's all written down here, 280 pounds. Um... The day before surgery, okay, my consult weight was 324. The day before surgery, I was 305 pounds, and yesterday I was 280. So it's 25 pounds in three weeks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, she gave me the stats because I was like, is that good, bad? What are you kind of looking for? And they go from like your consult weight. 
So I've lost from my consult weight 44 pounds, which is 23% of the 75% of my weight they want me to lose. Their goal weight is 181 pounds for me. Um, I want to try to do my goal, my personal goal is 170 and then reevaluate and possibly lower. We'll see. Uh, last time I was 230. Actually, I have a picture of last time. I'm not standing up, but we'll see if it's me right there. Last time I lost. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but last time I lost weight, I was 230 and I thought I looked pretty good. Um, I can't imagine even being 60 pounds less than that. Everything went uh, really well. She answered all my questions. Um, my in-laws are in Costa Rica, so we want to go there at the end of February. So I was a little worried they wouldn't uh, let me travel, but she said I'll be eight weeks out, so it's fine. So that's exciting. We just have to wait to see if my husband gets the time off. Hopefully he does. Um, and we'll be down there for two weeks. She thought maybe, sorry, my dog is eating earphones. Django, thank you. Um, she thought maybe it'd be a little bit difficult because I'll be transitioning into uh, week eight foods then. But my in-laws are uh, living in a house there, so it's a lot of cooking and stuff. So after she heard that, she was a little bit more comfortable with me going. And, like, I have email access down there and stuff too, which she was happy about because I can just email the office if I have any questions or concerns. Let's see. I think that's about it. Other than that, I'm tolerating everything really well. Sometimes I have a hard time getting my fluids in because I have to wait that hour after uh, meals. Um... I'm trying to do better. Um, I've been keeping a bottle with me and stuff. It's hit and miss. Most days are pretty good. There's the occasional one. It depends. If I get up really late, that's when I actually have fun. Sorry, that was my dogs chasing each other. Um, or chasing the cat, probably. Uh, where was I? Yeah, if I get up late, then it's a little bit more difficult. But I'll try to do better. Oh, my labs. Uh, for the most part, they were okay. My iron was a little low, so I'm going out in a little bit to pick up an iron supplement. And something with my albumin was like off the charts. It's like 50 here, it's supposed to be, and it was like 200. But my, I already knew something was wrong because my uh, doctor's office, my uh, GP had called and wants me to repeat uh, blood work today, actually. So I'm going in to get my requisition and to get some drawn. I'm assuming that's what it was for. Um, as well as my liver function was uh, lower, but uh, Sarah said that was normal for being three weeks post-op. So, yeah, that's my next appointment is uh, March 31st. So hopefully um, we'll be back from Costa Rica and I'll be down quite a bit because we're going to be doing like a lot of hiking and stuff. And um, they have an outdoor pool there and I love swimming, so that should be fun. Anyways, I'm at like 8.10. I'm going to post a video one day, like a little bit background about me and my family and what I do and all that stuff. That I might do a video with my bracelets at the same time or incorporate in the same video. Anyways, I hope everybody's doing well um, and I hope everybody's losing. Have a great weekend. Bye.